Hi Leo, this is Marie Shima Chao Shiloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now. Leo is out there, someone will rise in Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Leo is out there. For the month of March 2023, what is it that you need to hear from me right now? Your first card is, uh, there is two cards. The Nine of Wands, I'm going to put it out, and the Two of Cups. All right, I'm speaking to the Leos out there. Makes sense. There is this energy about being on the fence. All right, uh, anticipation, looking behind. All right, this is this is our energy which is coming through. You're exhausted. You're tired. All right, you're still looking back at something which did not work out. When I'm looking at the Eight of Cups, somebody might have walked away from a connection. All right, but you're still probably waiting or still trying to, um, still wanting them to return. Okay. Give me a second. You're still thinking about this person who has walked away. For this person, um, it didn't work out. You know, wh whatever um, was going on, you know, they felt it is, it's just not worth their time. They walked away from it because what was on offer. Yeah, there's something, something which happened. I, I can't just place it. Give me a second. You might have been married with this person or you might have been dealing with this person. It could be a friendship. It doesn't have to be a relationship situation itself. But the thing is, um, this person walked away because something happened. There is disappointments. That's what I was picking up on, but I couldn't, you know, I, I, I couldn't figure out what, what was going on. There is some kind of a disappointment. There is something about uncertainty. Like, you know, because I, I'm trying to understand what, what happened. And it's like all over the place, if that makes sense. There is no particular reason for this person walking away from you. Does that make sense? It's, it's like a person who ghosted you. You know, you had a friendship, you had good times together, you were friends, or you were partners, and then this person just walked away. Why? Why? What happened? Okay? So it's not me getting confused. It's, it's, it's like... There is no particular reason for this person to be disappointed at you. Okay. But you had good times together. All right. So that is why you were in anticipation. You, you still haven't moved on. Like it's, it's not okay for you to uh, let them be. Okay. So you're stressed out, very anxious, like, what happened? Will they come back? And since I took a lot of time with the first card, I get this feeling. You're very confused and you're overthinking this. I'm just going to break the deck here. This one. Yes, you're overthinking because you're waiting on this person. I just broke the deck if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah. You're waiting on them to return. Will they or will they not? That kind of energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces energy, a Sagittarius energy, a Cancerian energy or a Taurus energy. Kind of a strange reading. Because I don't take so much time to, you know, 
speak about one particular card like the and being confused because it's confusing why they walked away you are not sure why they walked away Leo's out there can we have the next card please justice things are pretty much in limbo right now all right and this card for some reason is in reverse so it's not about limbo it's it's about um things are unclear like yeah okay this explains what i was trying to tell you all right it's it's like um let me explain this card upright um this is a person hanging in there doing nothing but the he uh, head there is a halo around the head so it, it's like you know what is going on things are pretty much stagnant but you know exactly because uh, you know you're being enlightened but in reverse it's it's like all over the place like what is going on the it, it's like being out of balance in the headspace this is what i was trying to tell you initially it's it's like all over the place you don't know for sure what happened yeah six of swords in regards to why they moved on is this a time out or is this over are they are they gone forever or will they return you know it's it's so confusing it's no joke i was like what the fuck is going on the only card he, which was reversed in the deck showed up. You're making me confused because the situation is confused. Confusing. All right. It, it's like. Is this even fair? Is this what is going on? Is this right? It's, it's, it's like you're weighing it out, but you can't figure it out. Should I let it be and move on or should I just hang in there? You're confused. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra in an energy. I am frowning so badly, I'm getting a headache. All right. Uh, some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius energy. Leo's out there. Can we have the next card, please? It's stressing me out. Emperor. Some of you might be dealing with this Emperor. Yeah, this could be a workplace situation. It seems like this person has some kind of control over you. All right, when I'm looking at the chariot energy, which is peeping out. You know, uh, there is something about this person wants things to go their way. There is something about... Um, they wanting to control the situation. They want things to work out in their favor the way they want it to okay some of you might be dealing with an aries or a taurus person or a virgo energy or probably a cancerian energy it's, it's like for them this is the right thing to do okay when i'm looking at the emperor along with the justice energy this is how it's going to be now that kind of energy They're taking an upper hand with you and you're concerned and you're not sure. They stop me here, which is, yes, uh, the magician. They're being a trickster, which I already picked up. That is why I got a little, um, you know, annoyed. I didn't want to say it, but they're confirming, confirming it for me. It's, it's them being um, kind of manipulative with you. To get their way okay it's, it's like if i do this if i show them you know i don't care about you and i'm moving on from you i will get them to you know be a little submissive is that a word uh you know yeah they feel like you will bow to them to their interest or desires or whatever like whatever is whatever is it that they are hoping for you will yes to this words
this person is very manipulative. Whoever this emperor is, this could be somebody at your workplace who is, I'm speaking to the Leos out there. All right, this could be uh, somebody who is older, who is wiser, who is uh, more experienced, uh, a father fig a figure probably, or somebody who, uh, you know, who is well established. People listen to this person um, at a high position, you know, that kind of energy. And this is whom you are concerned about. Okay? This person thinks whatever they're doing is the right way to... What was... Uh, along with the justice energy? Hangman energy in reverse. The, the way they're thinking, all right? They, uh, they wanted me to think about the hangman in reverse again. So the thing is, uh, the way they're thinking in their head, justice is twisted. You get what I'm saying? For them, they think this is a right approach, but it isn't. It is just them being a little conniving, all right, um, just to get their way. I'm getting a little heated up. Um, I think I'm getting pissed because if somebody is doing this to me, I will get pissed, all right? Uh, this person thinks they are very smart. They think they are very strategic with, uh, with uh, how they can deal with people. Uh, very trickster energy, okay? It's, it's like subtly getting their way. You know, if I back off from this person because I show you the eight of cups, if I walk away from this person, this person will get concerned. You will get concerned about why did they walk uh, walk away? Like I said, there is no particular person for this uh, uh, particular reason for this person to walk away. This they're messed up in the head. It's just them, you know, trying to show you they're disappointed in you. And you have to do something to make things right with them. Get it? Or am I losing you here? I, I know exactly what, what I'm seeing here. I don't know if I'm conveying it properly. Okay? It, it's like making you feel, you know, bad about yourself. Okay? So I need to wonder, what did I do to this person? You know, you will keep thinking about it and you will try to make them happy and they will get their way. It's like showing you're pissed, but you're not really pissed. It's just you being an asshole. Yeah. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries or a Libra in energy. Can we have the next card, please? Leo's out there. Four of Pentacles, there is a few cards which I need to look at. This one, this one, all right. So it's, it's like, uh, with this Four of Pentacles, there is something about not letting out exactly what they're hoping for, okay? Sitting tight, sitting like, you know, um, I'm hearing the word Scrooge. Um, it, it's like the grumpy energy. Pretending something is wrong. Okay. And uh, yeah, they're trying to be closed off. This person is well seasoned. Okay. And there is something about, because I just heard the crows. So there is something about talks. And I'm looking at the page of wands. So it's, it's like probably they're expecting you to reach out to them and ask them what's going on. Okay? They want you, they want things to go in their favor, the wheel to turn in their favor. And there is something about you reaching out to them. Because page of wands is a messenger energy. It, it's almost like uh, if they sit, um, 
you know, all grumpy and like, you know, I'm disappointed in you. I don't want to talk to you, all that. This is a silly person. Okay. I'm getting annoyed with this, uh, with this person. He's supposed to be the fucking emperor, but he's acting like a child. Okay. There is something about sitting tight and hoping or literally making you come their way. And Leos, I might be speaking directly to the Leos or this emperor could be the Leo themselves. Okay, so you, you could be the one who's doing this to the other person. Okay, you would know exactly if the story resonates with you, who's who. If it doesn't make sense yet, it's not even your story. Okay. There is something about making you feel or, uh, you know, wonder. Again, when I'm looking at this Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords, like making you confused. Like, what do I do? What do I do? So you, you go to them and ask. You know? You have to go towards them. That is what is their intention. To make you come to them. Because either sort is somebody who is confused in the head. Alright? They feel um, stuck. But it's it's just, it's all about in the head you don't know what to do. So then with that page of wands and the wheel card, uh, you go to them. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini energy. Leo's out there. Can we have the last card, please? Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. The Queen is facing the Four of Pentacles. They want you to come towards them. I, I wish I can show you the cards in the picture. Yeah. Oh, sorry, in the screen. Uh, so they want the Queen to head towards the emperor. Okay? Yes, the ace of cups. They want to dominate you. Remember I spoke about the submissive energy? Yeah. They want to tame you. And this is a new energy. Do not fall for this bullshit. I took 17 or 18 minutes to explain the shit. You should know just ignore this person. They walk away, they walk away. That's about it. Okay? But they're just playing around to see whether you will fall for it or not. Okay? They're making you outcasted. And there is something about... My ear is hurting. Okay? It was the same case with the Gemini reading as well. Uh, they're making you outcasted. Okay, they're pushing you away or uh, when I showed you the Eight of Cups, they're walking away, they're disappointed in you. All that is a strategy to make you come to them for help or of, you know, given, given to them because you feel like everybody is disappointed in me. I need to, you know, make things right. Yeah. What was that, the other card? Ace of Cups along with a strength card. Hmm. Give me a second. They're hoping to win this. To get their way. Because initially we started off with the Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups, remember? Behind this is the Ace of Cups, the strength card, which is the dominating, like... I'm in control. Even when I spoke earlier, I told you this person wants to be in control of you. All right, six of wands, them winning, and the lover's energy. They want you back, but the thing is, they want ten of pentacles. They they want you to go to them. But the thing is, they want to show the power play. I am 
the one who makes the decision. I am the one who is in control. And this person wants to make it very, very clear to you. If you have forgotten, I control you. You know, that kind of a strategy. Ah. All right, some of you might be dealing with a strong Leo energy, another Leo energy, or probably a Gemini energy. I'm done with your reading. Or probably, um, what is it? A Capricorn or a Sagittarius energy. Okay, this is something which I missed up, so they, uh, they were asking me to think. All right. Um, I'm done with your reading though. There is others who's involved in the story. It is not just this person. This person is talking to others. So this is something which is being planned with other people. Remember the crow? Yeah. So I told you there is talks. All right. So it, it's like they're deciding to outcast you. But this is a, this is a plan. This is a plan to, yeah, collectively they are making this plan. And we have come to this conclusion, this is the only way you can be tamed down. But they, uh, you know, they can control you if they put you in the corner. How fucked up is it? Hmm? People are supporting this person. You need to understand people are looking up to this person um, and expecting them to control you very very toxic energy as well okay whatever is being planned you are dealing with toxic people definitely this person is toxic because we have got the uh, seven swords and uh, was was it the devil's energy no 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 sorry uh, it's it's for the gemini's sorry the magician energy so yes this person is tricking you all right that is it I wish you the very, uh, very best. I really hope you do not fall for this. Okay? Don't be stressed about it. Okay? This Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords, don't even bother about it. Since I've told you, when they do this, just say, you know, adios. You want to, you're disappointed in me? I'm cool with it. You want to walk away? Just walk away. Who's stopping you? You know, that kind of thing, you know? it, it, If they think they can control you or affect you in such a way, show them it doesn't really matter. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Six of Swords. It's, it's not worth your time. Okay? Six of Swords for me is pack your bags and leave. Kind of a, you want me to look at this one as well, hangman, and this one. Nine of Pentacles. You need to understand it is all right to be by yourself. They're making you, they're pushing you in a corner. It's fine to be by yourself. You don't need these people because they're toxic. It's better to be alone. Okay? Being in limbo, doing nothing much, doesn't matter. You will have the sanity. Okay? So, uh, you know, uh, there is a need for you to let go of this bullshit, all right? Don't, oh, sorry, I don't know where the nine of wands went. Uh, don't even think about it, okay? That's two wands. There is a need for you to look into the future because I wanted to see six of swords. What is it? I please just, uh, there is a need for you to look into the future and manifest something which is much better than what you're dealing with right now. All right, that's it for now. This is Marishi, my channel, Shiloka, and Lexi. Bye-bye.